Hey guys, welcome to a brand new update video. Today we will be talking about changes made in the newest version, 19W36A. It's rather unconventional uh, update video, but I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get right into this. <laughs> Okay guys, let me explain what's going on right now. So basically, I'm trying to record this video and I realized that if I tried to actually show off some of the features uh, in the emulator, uh, I would have to be doing that uh, at a place where I would have a better network connection. Now, the only place I can do that is a dorm room and that's pretty busy right now, so that's gonna be something that I'll note. But for now, since we're not really using much data, I'm going to be uh, just showing it off outside here in a nice, quiet, remote location. So, let's get started. The majority of today's features are mainly just made to the networking client. Uh, so, it's not really a networking client yet. It's actually, we've ported a bunch of libraries, fixed a bunch of little things here and there, and we'll be discussing some of the uh, multiplayer aspects of the game. So. The newest thing, of course, is now that when you hit on multiplayer, you'll see, your PSP goes to go ahead and connect to a network connection. So, for my testing with servers and stuff like that, I'll be using this testing network, but for now, I'll just connect to my phone. So, you have the full uh, network connection dialog, which is now inside of the actual game client. And as soon as you connect to a network, uh, and as soon as that is successful, you will be granted uh, the ability to enter your username. Now, it's not yet implemented to actually go ahead and check it and then ask you for a password or anything like that, but it's really just there for uh, server identification purposes. So, you can type in whatever. It doesn't actually care about your result right now, and you hit start to get out. So that's the biggest feature that you can see right now. And then we also have a working direct connect system, uh, which will basically just ask you for your IP address and then we'll go from there in the next week's uh, updates. There hasn't been much to uh, visible updates this week, uh, obviously aside from that, but the changes that were made this week uh, pretty much included porting a bunch of libraries, changing a bunch of the structure and changing a lot of the engine of the game. Uh, which has now made it a lot more efficient and a lot faster. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Thank you guys all so much for tuning in. Subscribe if you want more notifications, and I'll see you next week.